Hi, in this problem we're going to work out this definite integral. So we have to integrate 3 plus x times the square root of x from 0 to 1. Let's go ahead and do it. And before we do it, we're going to have to simplify this a little bit. So we want to write everything as x to a power. So note that the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half. So what I'm going to do here is first rewrite this. So this is 0 to 1, 3 plus x times x to the 1 half dx. Very nice. Okay, so now we have to combine these. There's a 1 here, and because the bases are the same, you basically add the exponents. So this is 0 to 1, 3 plus, 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves, and then we have a dx. And now we're ready to integrate. When you're integrating a constant, you basically just put an x next to it, because it's with respect to x. So this is 3x plus and then here we're going to add 1 to the exponent. So we're basically taking 3 halves and adding 1, which you want to think of it as a number over 2, so 2 halves. That way you can add straight across. 3 plus 2 is 5. So this will be x to the 5 halves. So the formula says you add 1 to the result and then divide by the result. But since we're dividing by 5 halves, we're really multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm just going to put a 2 fifths here. Again, the step I skipped was this one. It's really x to the 5 halves over 5 halves, right? But you just basically do this. And we're going from 0 to 1. All right, the rule says that you plug in the 1 first. So this is going to be 3 times 1 plus 2 fifths times 1 to the 5 halves. Then you subtract and you plug in 0. But when you plug in 0 for these, you're just going to get 0, so 0. This is equal to 3 plus two-fifths. And uh, a couple ways to add this. Let's do it the old school way. This is three and two-fifths. Mixed fractions, right? Blast from the past. And now watch this. Five times three is 15, plus two is 17. So you get 17 fifths. So you can multiply these two and then add it to the two. Another way to do it is you can basically multiply it by five over five. It's really three over one. Three times five is 15. And then this is 2 fifths, so this is 17 fifths. Same answer. So yeah, pretty cool. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.